former Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwaremadu, his wife Beatrice, have been found guilty of organ trafficking. Hi, welcome to what's happening this at the top 10 stories. At number one, a former Deputy Senate President Ike Ekwaremadu and his wife Beatrice have been found guilty of organ trafficking in the United Kingdom. The duo and a medical doctor, Dr. Obina Obeta, were found guilty of facilitating the travel of a young man to Britain with a view to his exploitation after a six-week trial at the Old Bailey. Judge Justice Jeremy Johnson will pass a sentence at a later date. And number two, the Kaduna state government has warned against any civil unrest in the state following the declaration of all progressive Congress governorship candidates as the winner of the election. The state commissioner for internal security and home affairs, Samuel Aruan, who gave the warning in a test statement on Thursday, disclosed that the government had a credible intelligence report indicating that some politicians were about to sponsor unrest in the state. He noted that the state government would not spare any individual or group found to be behind any breakdown of law and order. At number three, the Niger State Police Command has arrested three suspects for the kidnapping of children in Suleja, local government area of the state. In a statement issued by the police spokesperson in the state, DSPWSU Abiodun stated that the suspects were arrested in Abuja. Two of the suspects, Ebuka Savio, 20, and Mary Peter, age 25, were arrested at Tunga Maje via Gogolada area of FCT Abuja on January 20th, 2023, and February 18th, 2023, respectively. While one Chinwe Egu, age 49, was arrested arrested in Lube on March 13, 2023. Abiodun stated that after the suspects kidnapped the children, they took them to an orphanage home in Abuja where they were paid some money. At number four, the defense headquarters on Thursday said no fewer than 201 kidnapped Nigerians were rescued by troops during various operations in the last two weeks. The citizens were rescued during clearance operations conducted on terrorist hideouts in different locations in Borno and Kaduna State. The Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Musa Dan Madami, said that the troops of Operation Real struck neutralized 14 terrorists, arrested 12 terrorist logistics suppliers, rescued 16 abducted civilians. He also said a total of 1,506 terrorists surrendered to the troops in the last two weeks. While in the southeast, he said troops eliminated seven criminals and arrested 32 indigenous people of Biafra, Eastern Security Network criminals. At number five, the President Muhammad Bari has signed two bills recently passed by the National Assembly into law. The Senior Special Assistant to the President of National Assembly Matters, House of Representatives Nasiru Ila, made this known in a statement he issued on Thursday entitled, Bari Ascends to Copyright Federal College of Medical Laboratory Science and Technology Just Bills. According to Ila, the President assented to the bills on March 17th, along with 16 out of the 35 bills seeking to amend various parts of the 1999 Constitution. At number six, the Minister of Aviation, Senator Hadi Sirika, has announced that the proposed national carrier Nigeria Air will fly before May 29, 2023. The minister also said the project was 98% completed. He stated this in Abuja on Thursday during the 10th Aviation Stakeholders Forum. He added that the negotiation meeting with the Ethiopian Airlines Group, Constitume, and the federal government of Nigeria is ongoing. At number seven, the general officer commanding one division Nigerian Army, Major General Tauri Labaja, says Nigeria has recorded over 2,056 cases of fire incidents with a loss of over 1 trillion naira of properties in 2022. Labaja gave the figures during a fire prevention and management sensitization seminar held at the headquarters one division Nigerian Army Kaduna on Thursday. The GOC, represented by Brigadier General Ugochuku Ugeleka, said there have been increasing cases of fire due to population growth, unstable electricity, negligence, and illegal electrical connections, amongst others. And number eight, the Nigerian Correctional Service has destroyed items it confiscated from its various custodial centers across the nation, worth over 150 million naira in fulfillment of sections 51 and 52 of the service standing orders. Service spokesman ACC Abubakar. Dan Lamy Omar disclosed that the prohibited items, which were seized over time via the proactive measures and routine search of cells by officers and men of the service, were destroyed at its national headquarters, Abuja. Some of the items included cell phones, SIM cards, laptops, hard drugs, power banks, and other electronic devices considered contraband for inmates in custody. And number nine, nine members of the Kogi State House of Assembly have been suspended. The assembly equally suspended nine local government chairmen in the state. The suspension of the lawmakers in some quarters had also been linked to anti-party activities in the last Saturday's House of Assembly election. 
Finally, at number 10, giving an update on the investigation carried out after an international news organization, Reuters, indicated the military in gross human rights violations involving mass abortions, infanticide, and the killing of women. The National Human Rights Commission has provided a report on its progress in unraveling the facts around the allegation. The commission announced that the Special Independent and Investigative Panel, headed by retired Chief Judge Abdu Abuki, is set to embark on the second phase of the investigation, while listing challenges experienced in the first phase to include non-cooperation of some international agencies, difficulty assessing victims, logistics and financial challenges, also adding that some military personnel have either been reposted or retired. That's all for today. See you next time on What's Happening. <laughs>